Lesson Amazing Energy Module Heat Energy We do our daily works by getting heat from energy sources like firewood, sun, fuel, etc. So, to carry out our daily activities, we need heat energy. And we get it from different sources such as burning firewood, using sun's energy, or using different fuels like coals, petrol, etc. Can you think and write of any two works that need heat energy? Write any two works then in your home that use heat energy. I will give you two examples. Cooking. In order to carry out cooking, you need heat energy. As you can see here, they are using a firewood stove. Also, ironing clothes requires heat energy. Here is an activity for you. Rub your palms rigorously for some time and then touch your cheeks. So you have to rub your palms hard and fast and then touch your cheeks. What do you feel? You will be able to feel warmth on your cheeks, correct? Where does this warmth come from? Rubbing your hands together produces heat due to friction as muscular energy is converted to heat energy. That is where you get that warmth from. Next question for you is, what would be the reason for the vibration of lids of vessels kept on burning stove for cooking food? So, you may have observed this. Whenever something is kept on stove and there is a lid covering it, if it is kept there for a long time, long enough for the water or whatever is inside to come to boil, you will observe that the lid will start moving. It will start coming slightly up then go down back. Why is this? This is due to the steam that would build up inside the vessel and it will push the lid up. As you can see the red arrows here, they indicate that the steam is pushing up the lid. But the steam does not have enough energy to keep pushing up the lid always. So it will push it up for some time and then go back down. That is why the lids vibrate. Next, thermal power stations are used to generate electricity using heat energy. So, heat energy can be converted into electricity inside thermal power stations. As you can see here, in the first picture, it shows a thermal power station. Next, sources or fuels for heat energy include coal as shown in the second picture and different other fuels including various fossil fuels that we use in our daily activities. Now, let us summarize what we have learned. Heat energy is required for our daily activities. And we obtain heat energy from sources like coal and other fuels. Thermal power plants generate electricity using heat energy. In the next module, we will be learning about solar energy.